Alright, let's do this. What's up, everyone? Empower and Qs here, bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are going against some Nasus in the top lane. Uh, if you take a look at his runes, you can kind of tell what he's planning. He's not planning on going super aggro with stacking, I don't think. And you can tell that because he has Comet. So I'm going to take a nice, good trade there. Now the minion damage. Look at that. Um, Nasus, we kind of want to beat as early as we possibly can, or else he's just going to stack and scale up. Um, luckily, I can zone him off all these minions. Nice. Probably looking for the kill here soon. Yeah, I can kill him. Push us in. Let's see. I might have to wait to level 3. But I think we're going to go uh, Trinity into Gunblade, Rage Blade, Sterix, Guardian Angel. Pretty standard stuff. Gonna get a ward down here. A master, he is their jungler. Whoop, dodge that out. Oh, I can kind of be ready to help Shaco if he needs it, but oh, yep. He runs over here. Got him. Fuck you! Ha ha ha! So, what I did is we pushed the wave in, wandered down, shazam. Uh, flash to get into jump range. Simple stuff. Gonna try and zone him off of this cannon. Cool. Oh, got the flash. Ooh, that hurts. Pop a potion. If he gets in range, I can kind of auto attack. Reset him. Ooh, getting close. Getting close. Hmm. I want to finish shoving this. Perfect. I want to act like I'm going to back. I'm going to walk back over here and walk into the bush. If he gets into range, I can jump. Let's see here. I backed, I swear! I backed! <laughs> Easy peasy. So yeah, um... He's going with the uh, E max first for AoE damage against me because he doesn't want to get up close and personal and fight me. So that's exactly what he wants to avoid. Um, so we're just punishing that. So this is going to break. There's only three minions, so I'm going to back. I have lots of gold. Ooh, I think we can gank here. I saw a bread buff. Oh, wait. No? Okay. Gonna go back up. I have to regen from red buff so I can stay. We'll finish pushing this wave in. No reason to miss a cannon minion. Gotta keep a very close eye for Master Yi, though we just saw that he was nearby. Get a little whack off there, a little love tap. I wanna save my jump if at all possible. Because like I said, we know Master Yi is nearby. I don't want to push this in and then back. <laughs> Pop him again. Perfect. Back it up. I might just back and TP. Yeah. Yep. I'm good. He's not going to get me. That's what I was afraid of. That wither lasts a really long time. Oh, I don't think I talked about it, by the way. Wow, I'm an idiot. I took Nimbus Cloak, by the way. Um, it's going to go really well with my ultimate. I think the movement speed is going to feel super nice. I'm actually going to get Sheen first. Pair of boots. And that right there. Um, so let me explain. Wowzers. <laughs> first off, I took Tenacity. It's going to help me a lot against the wither. Um, I took Nimbus Cloak. So what's great about that is... There's a 54 second cooldown, but your alt is about a 72 second cooldown. But when you press your alt, you're going to get 100 movement speed, which is great. So I can hit ultimate and throw up my E. Um, that way it's going to be much easier to catch the enemy. So really looking forward to how that works. So instead of taking celerity, which is a 3% movement speed, I took um, this here. So should be pretty good. Probably going to take a whack here. That's fine. Going to lifesteal back up. 
Well, I'm gonna have my ultimate in a second, pop a potion. Well, perfect. So the trade I want to do now is two auto attacks into a jump. Now, if he walks up into range, now I want to fight him because his wither is down. Okay. So one, two, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. That's the trade we're looking for. And now we can hold the wave out here. And it puts Nasus in a position that makes it very hard for him to fight or do anything. So you need four minions for a freeze. So this isn't a full freeze, but it's going to very slowly push. So we can just kind of hang out here. Let's see here. Zone him off. If he comes up, like I said, I'm going to look to jump on him. If I press my ultimate, I'm going to get all that movement speed now. Whoopsies! Don't want to get hit by that. Back it up. Gonna just keep going with the W Max. So 33 to 48. There's not too much for him to catch up here. I want to be careful with my jump though, because I don't see Master Yi. So realistically, I should go get a ward. Okay. Damage. Perfect. Cool. Well, that's shoved in. Um. Against Nasus, you really don't want to constantly shove because that allows him to really just free farm, which is what Nasus wants to do. Um, well, we should be fine. I said, oh my goodness. I am so tempted. Cool. Get this. If he walks towards me, I know uh, he's probably there since he's backing up. I know I'm probably good. So this is going to slow push out to me. So one... Two. Got that. Perfect. If Shaco comes, I think we can just dive him if need be. But this is going to slow push under anyways. He's probably going to use his E. Back up. That's what I thought. He's almost out of mana. He's probably back in. Thought I was going to stop the back. Just kind of tease him a little bit. I'm going to miss both of those minions. I gotta be careful. I don't see Master Yi. I'm dead. Damn. Oh, that sucks. I knew Master Yi was coming sooner or later. That's okay. Just TP back. We got the dragon, so I'll take the infernal dragon. Well, goodness. Still pretty far ahead, though. Cool. Got that. Nice. Good job. It's going to hold this wave and deny a minions that way. It'll slow push out because it's six versus five, but it is going to be a slow push. So, deny him as much as I can minion-wise. That puts him in the long lane anyways. I kind of just want to activate my ultimate when he comes and see how it feels with the uh, Nimbus Cloak. There we go. Wow, that feels good. Besides that damn wither. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep, just gonna dive in. Oh god, what are you doing? Mm, interesting choice. I think it far enough. That's a terrible play. He might die, actually. Wow. Was not expecting that. Ooh. Nope. Let's see if I can push this tower in. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Just keep zoning him off. Wow, really? Oh, 
what I was expecting, but gonna push this in now. I know Lux is close by. He doesn't have ultimate though. Gotta push fast. Build up my attack speed. God damn it, Master E. Damn that wither. Woo! -hoo! Ooh, baby! <laughs> that wither hurts. Just waiting for my cooldowns to come back. I gotta finish my boots soon. That wither is brutal. I think I was thinking about going Titanic, but I'm not doing that, so I don't know why I built that. Oh well. I can sell it later. It's good for this sustain against the poke. And control ward. Nice. So we got up to 25% on our tenacity, which is really, really nice. That helps against that wither. Uh, Nimbus Cloak we've used three times. I do feel like it's pretty nice. You can see that like little shock boost or whatever to your movement speed. And like I said, 64 second cooldown. Excuse me, 48 second cooldown. So I'm pretty much guaranteed to get my Nimbus Cloak every time we fight him. Okay, definitely want to fight him in a second. Oh, he dead. He dead. Wow, that movement speed. Ha! Huh! I am down with that, so he was an idiot and used his wither. You don't want to ever use your wither when, um, before you engage, because then I'm free to jump on it. So bait out the ability, and you're perfect. That feels really, really nice. So you do sacrifice a little bit of the early game power of celerity for the movement speed, but the power boost you get with R is just crazy. I like that. Look at that MCS difference. There's this wave. Nice. Let's see if I can steal some jungle creeps. Get a deep ward. Now that. Okay. Can get a control ward over here. Use right over there. So I'm probably gonna back. I can fish my boots. Flash. Perfect. I'll take that. Flash for nothing. So the thing with Master Yi with this matchup is you have to wait till he uses his Alpha Strike to E because if you E as soon as one second is up, he's gonna Alpha Strike. So if you can bait out the one, you're good. So I'm gonna grab that and start building towards my gun blade. Um, they have more AD, so I'm gonna go with the... Uh, Lifesteal AD component first. The reason being is Jax's ultimate actually scales off of whatever damage you're building. So you get more armor if you're building AD. You get more MR if you're building AP. So we'll end up getting both, which will help against the Lux as well. But he does mostly physical damage with his Q and everything like that. So I'm going to opt to do it that way. So once again, blocking up. My ultimate's going to be ready. I'm also a level higher than him. So make sure that I can... Fuck my conqueror. See, he won't even fight me anymore. Which he shouldn't, so works out. So I want to push this in, and I can go take Rift Herald. So then we can use that to take another objective here. I wish I had one. Oh, I should have popped the orb the other way. Uh, I could have popped this orb to see if there's a ward, but. I think we'll be alright. Shaco should be coming. Hopefully Shaco takes it. <laughs> Perfect. Easy peasy. Okay, guess I'll take it. I really don't like taking Rift Herald, to be honest. Um, just because then I can't war jump in a pickle. We're gonna get the Vampire Scepter. Awesome! 
But no, I, I really like that. So it's like I said, it's a 3% movement speed at level 1 versus a 100 extra movement speed, which your movement speed is normally 415. So I'll pull a new boom and I'll show you. So we go from 415 to 490. So I guess it's 85. It might like... I don't know how that changes. What does it say? It says increase 40. I don't, I don't know what uh, changes it from doing 85 there, but 415 to 490 is pretty darn good. So push this in. If I see Nas's bottom, I know there's no one at my turret here, so I can use the Rift Herald and probably secure top power. I was about to go play some ward. Can't do that. Have the rips, Harold. Hello. Somebody knows I'm there. <laughs> okay. Gotta be careful. Okay, there's he. I don't want to get ganked. Alright, I want to use this. I don't see anyone, so I gotta be careful. I see Ezreal. I see Shaco, so I'm probably okay to push a little bit. Well, run away. Nice. Okay. I just don't have enough vision to fully commit. There we go. I see two. Harold right here. Destroy this. Perfect. Nice to stay out. Top lane. I'll pop a potion just to make sure I'm staying healthy. Could look for a flash play on the locks. Build up my attack speed. Yeah. Oh god. Good, perfect. Objective secured. Probably gonna take right if we can. Go to my attack speed. Nope. I'm fine. Cool. Good job. Burn damage OP. Push this wave. Nice. A nice big wave here. It, got it. <laughs> the only downside with this build is, like I said, it's a little bit more, I'd say mid game as opposed to late game focused. And the early game is such an important part of the meta right now. That'd be my only hesitation, but otherwise I actually feel a noticeable difference. Um, but once you get to late game, your movement speed from, well, it's not movement speed, but your jumps are so good that it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Hey! So, Jack's Trick 101. Build up your attack speed on the uh, structure when the teleport comes in, or about one second. Uh, proc your E, so when he appears, proc it again. You have your attack speed built up. Easy peasy. Let me get my gun blade here. And get a control ward. Mm, sorry. Shaco gonna go AFK. Well, hopefully, the split is strong. Walk up, buddy. I should have teleported. Hmm. Nice. Let's see. I'd like to get a sneak attack on him. <laughs> nice. Got it. Thank you for the buffs. I'll go get dragon. Yep. Yep, on my way. I can get it. 
Okay. Someone has to go take care of uh, Nasus. I can get Dragon, and then I'll probably go bottom. Nice. At bottom, my Gunblade's going to be back up. Continue building towards my Rage Blade. This is going to give me a lot of dueling power, too, because I have life steal. Nice, they got the Nasus. I get a control ward. And we keep splitting, they can do Baron. <laughs> Nasus doesn't even have his first item. <laughs> That's hilarious. Can't stop me. Yep. Backing up. Got the Baron. Pop up these minions. Oh, uh, almost. That was kind of cool. I used that up. Damn it. Tried to use the movement speed boost to catch up to him. That's cool. I sell that. Don't need that, obviously. And grab that. Hey! That's a nifty trick, though. So that's another thing you can do is when trying to catch squishies, which he had to blow flash or heal. Don't call me a noob. I'm sorry. I already don't remember at this point. But I, I popped my ultimate, boost up my movement speed, start walking towards him. He dashes away, and then I jump. So, kind of a cool technique. Nasus has his first item now, so good for him. Let's go teleport in. Got the NASA still. I still win. Save me, Brad. Damn, he does a lot of damage. Or I'm really squishy too, but it matters not. Alright, I ended that death. I did not respect the Yi damage. Oof. Kill the tower. I want my rage blade. I guess I'm gonna have it anyways. Bam. Run, Brand, run! Oh well. Three and hips down. I think it's safe to say that this is probably GG. He was close. I'm gonna steal their jungle. Oh my gosh, this is as real as 0 and 10. So, got uh, my Rage Blade. So, like I said, my plan is to go Sterix Guardian Angel next. Highly doubt it will get to that, but if it does. Take the jungle camps. Get red. Maybe look for a pick. I see three of them there, so I gotta be careful. Get some vision. Right here, right here. Pop a potion. Maybe someone's dumb. Maybe. I'll pop this. Should all just group. Should group. I'm waiting for my team to take away resources. I walk it in. Let's group. 
and end this. This is the hardest part of this type of game, though, for me as a split pushy jacks kind of build. Uh, the reason being is you have to jump into the enemy team, or if you end up getting hit by too much, you just die. So, it's a little rough, but good game! <laughs> I actually really like that. Um, if you find yourself in a matchup where you can justify doing it, I think it feels a lot nicer than the Celerity. And the Celerity feels great for those early trades, um, and definitely better against enemies that have a little bit more mobility. Probably slightly better overall. Regardless, though, uh, I think that level 6 power spike, when you have it, feels awesome and allows you to do some kind of funky plays. So, the, uh, like I said, the runes right here. Um, I took the tenacity one because of Wither. Uh, last Stand is kind of the new way that a lot of people are going, and that feels a lot nicer, too, especially in the early game. The damage spike you get off of that. Legit. And then Nimbus Cloak, uh, that extra 100 movement speed. Feels awesome. Well, I hope you guys like that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz, and I will catch you next time. Peace.